Hey everyone, this is the hike on the Palomar Observatory Trail up here on Palomar Mountain. There's a lot of different Palomars thrown out there you might have seen for different trails, different parks. Um, this is about a four and a half mile hike round trip in Cleveland National Forest up to the observatory. Beautiful, beautiful hike. Lots of places to, um, to rest along the way, benches, nice viewpoints, beautiful pines and cedars and all the beautiful trees that are up here in the mountain. It feels more like the, the kind of Southern Sierra Nevada than it does Southern California or even San Diego. It's beautiful. You can see right now, there is snow up here. Got a little dusting. It doesn't normally snow, so don't expect these conditions, but it does happen occasionally. And when you get to the top of the trail, you can most of the time visit the observatory, Palomar Observatory, which is I'll show you how to get to the observatory on the website in the article. If you're not familiar with my videos, I have a corresponding article, hike guide with maps and recommendations, parking, permits, all that information. And that uh, is on hikingguide.com. There's a link, to that, a link to that right underneath the video. So make sure you check that out if you want to do the hike. But otherwise, let me show you the turn-by-turn -turn directions um, on this beautiful trail to get here to this not-so-beautiful gate. Hike starts at the observatory campgrounds, which is actually a uh, pretty popular spot for amateur stargazers. So that's cool. I talk about that on the website if you want to check that out. And there is a permit, so make sure you deal with that. But from parking lot, you just go through these fences right here. And off to the right, when you get through here, there's some picnic benches. We're not going to go there. We're going to go off to the left and head up here. You can see there's this old sign. I think that's an old National Recreation Trail sign. This is one of the only National Recreation Trails here in San Diego County. I think there's four of them. But we're gonna go kind of up and around those picnic benches and go up that hill right there. Once we go up the hill, we're kind of wind around on the ridge here, leave those picnic benches behind. And you can see the trail is uh, pretty easy to follow, even in the snow. And again, apologies that there's snow here. Um, it's a little bit tougher to show you, but overall I can show you how to get up there. We're going to go through here. We're going to cross over some of these ravines. You can see the trail is well marked. There's some good trail work. And there's a Forest Service volunteer actually lives at the campground and takes care of the trail. There's some older reports from a couple of years ago about the trail being overgrown. And I've been here several times. I haven't seen it overgrown uh, since I've been here. It's generally pretty easy to follow. And you're going to keep winding uphill here at these utility towers, uh, you just, or poles, towers, poles. Um, we're not going to go downhill. Some people were confused here that I talked to, but we're going to just gotta go straight through, continue on the trail, which is easy to follow here. And there's also a bunch of these little benches along the trail, and I think uh, that's because it might be a National Recreation Trail, whatever it is. There's a few of those benches, very cool for the two and a half miles or so that goes uphill. There's a lot of different little structures, benches, bridges, viewing platforms to check out. So really, really neat trail. It packs a lot in and you can see it's really beautiful. It's mostly shaded, but at some point you're gonna come out, you're gonna see out to the next mountain over there and uh, into the Mendenhall Valley straight ahead. And we're just gonna keep going on the trail. And once you pass this point, you're going to come up to this viewing platform. And from here, you're going to be able to see down into the valley, named after, uh, I think his name is Enos Menendal, who settled in the area. This was originally a land grant that the Mexican government would give to uh, retired soldiers. And of course, the Americans took it over in the Mexican-American War, and people settled in the area. And you can read about that stuff on the website as well. I have a little bit of history of the area. And right through here, you can see one of the uh, buildings in the observatory. It's really the only time you can see the observatory on the hike up until you get up to the top. Now, there is some climbing on this. Uh, it's nothing crazy. It's not a big mountain climb. It's generally pretty subtle, and you don't really know that you're climbing. But there are maybe, I don't know, three or four little steeper sections that you have to go up, but they're all very short as you go here. Once you go up that section, you're going to cross the bridge over this little drainage and continue heading up the trail. At this point, at this other bench, um, there's some rocks up to the left there. We're gonna go down to the right. You can not climb up on those rocks to the left. There is a little viewpoint there, um, but the trail itself 
goes down here to the right and kind of goes downhill a little bit. And you can see here as I get out of the snow, there's the trail. The trail is really easy to follow uh, when there's not snow. And even when there is snow, you can see there's a lot of these landmarks here. There's some boards to keep out the, the brush on the side. There can be poodle, poodle dog bush and poison oak. So uh, just keep your heads open, eyes open, heads about you. There's a private property sign. We're actually leaving Cleveland National Forest at this point and heading into the lands uh, where the observatory is, I think, which is owned by Caltech, which I know. Um, there are ranches up here as well. Still people do some cattle ranching. You might see some of the horse and cattle trucks up on the road as you come up. Speaking of the road, there it is. The trail roughly follows the road up to the observatory. Now, if you're doing this on the weekend, it can get really loud uh, with all the traffic, especially if there's motorcycles. But on a weekday, it's pretty mellow and you pretty much don't even hear the traffic. After that point, there's a little a couple little mini switchbacks there. We're going to do a little climbing up towards the observatory at the top. And once you go up this climb and these little switchbacks, there's actually a little downhill here. Uh, you can enjoy enjoy the respite um, as you catch your breath. And again, the climb is not tough. I probably want to bring little kids on this climb, but you know, kids over six or seven can probably handle this hike pretty easily. Once we go down, we're going to come to another bench and we're going to head to the right here, there to the right to continue on the trail. And soon after this, we're going to see another private property sign. No spitting, no cussing, no drinking. You are allowed to stay on the trail through this private property, just as an FYI, you're not trespassing when you enter here. And then shortly after that, you're gonna to come to the end of the observatory trail, which is right here, and you're gonna come out on the road. And there's this funky old sign here. I, I don't know how long this will be up. It's it's pretty, pretty dated, not too helpful. But once you're here, you just cross over onto the road and then walk over to the observatory. You can see the gates over there. Now do check online. I have a link to the observatory on the website and the, gu the guide, and you can see when it's open or when it's not open, and I'll also tell you how to navigate within the observatory. But to get there, there's two roads. You're just going to go on this one to the left here, which will take you down to the visitor center, and then eventually the telescope. So that's it. Like I said, when you get to the top, you can go to the observatory. I'll talk about that in the guide uh, that also has maps. There's also a map right here. You can see you go from the triangle to whatever shape that is. Um, anyway, this is an old sign here, observatory trail at the trailhead at the top, kind of funky. Uh, but anyway, so if you're watching on YouTube, as always, you could say thank you by just clicking that little thumbs up and please make sure you check out the guide, which is in a link underneath the video. But otherwise I am gonna go slip and slide back down the snowy trail. All right guys, see ya.